We are back with Miss Jennifer Lopez, Hello. and uh, so you're going to the Super Bowl this weekend. I am going to go. I'm going to go. I'm yeah. I'm so excited. Who are you going to be for? Uh, I don't know. Come on. I don't know. Who is it? It's L.A. and the and Cincinnati. And, and you know the little underdogs. I think I like. I, I'm, I'm an underdog type of person. All right. Well. <laughs> all right. Then I won't say either. What are you going to? No. I, I'm for the Rams. Um, <laughs> But if Cincinnati wins, I will be happy for them because I right. do I do like to root for the underdogs, right. so I will be happy for them. But I am for the Rams, okay. and, and Stafford's done amazing. Um, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Now, when you're watching, like the halftime show is going to be amazing. Eminem and uh, Mary J. Blige, and Dr. Dre, they, that, Dr. Yeah, Dre, yeah. Snoop Dogg. I know. Now, now, do you think about like those moments before when you performed? Oh my God! Yeah. Like how nervous they must oh, it was be. Such a. It's, yeah. <laughs> such a big show and you know everybody's watching and it just talked about it's such a big deal you can't help like the it's actually the lead up to it the two months before where you're putting the show together and trying to figure out what it's going to be and what you want to say and what you want to do that's really really anxiety ridden it's literally anxiety -ridden. every other artist that I've spoken to about it or any managers that were involved with it, they're like that was the week I quit you know what yeah, I mean yeah. like because <laughs> it's just so much pressure but it's but but don't you look forward to things like this? Because as you're in the business longer and longer, you do it's so many things that that are yes, you get excited and nervous, but yeah. not like you look forward to those moments. Oh my God, the Super Bowl, the inauguration. inauguration. Yeah, I would yes. think the inauguration would have <laughs> been. Like, what am I doing here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. No, those are definitely moments that mark your career, and you go, okay, like. I'm here. Like, there's the president of the United yeah. States right there. Yeah. And I grew up with holes in my shoes. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, this is amazing right yeah. now. I, I, I um, definitely was having an out-of-body experience. But it was, it was so great to be able to represent women, Latinos, you know, in that moment. That, that was a big deal for me. Like, my parents were, like, beside themselves. I bet. Beside them. Like, God, I can't watching you sing like that. But it's amazing. I mean, you know, what you've, what you've accomplished, even in the time that I've known you since, since doing the show, like you just, you continue to, to do bigger and, uh, and, and more, you're just, you're, you're so impressive as, as a human being and, but especially as a woman. Thank you're, you. in, you're amazing. Mm -hmm. We have to take a break. We'll be back. That means a lot to me. That's Jennifer Lopez, Owen Wilson, and Marry Me. It is a movie about a woman who is not giving up on love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's a movie about, you know, the journey to love and how we think we're making all these mistakes along the way with these relationships and you're trying to figure yourself out and you're trying to find your way. And then one day you realize that you needed to learn all those things to get to where you belonged, mm -hmm. where your real home is, to your real love. And, uh, and that's what the movie's about. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful movie. Yeah, and yeah. and you know, it's it's the this character has gone through a lot. And when you're doing this movie, are you thinking to yourself, "Wow, there's some there's my life, some, yeah. yeah, some <laughs> similarities." Well, I know why they wanted me to do this movie. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. It, it was very meta experience, and there was a lot of things in there that obviously I could. Br I, she plays a you know a recording artist and a person who does branding stuff and has her businesses, and she's kind of a you know, big superstar who's been there for a long time, had a lot of public relationships. Like, I, I, there's so much about it, obviously, that is very much like me. And I was able to bring, like, nuances. I remember talking with the director and Owen and everybody while we were doing this, and they were like, what would the, you know, this part, so then you'll do this. And I was like, no, that's not what it's like. This, <laughs> this is what it's like. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is how that feels. So it's like a... You know, when they do a behind the scenes sometimes, you know, you see, oh yeah, here's the camera and they're behind the scene. And no, but the behind the behind the scenes, it's like what happens in the dressing room before we come out here. And if you have a bad day, which I've actually had on this show at times, you know what I mean? And, and I've had to come out here and kind of put on the good face, like those moments that are, that people don't really ever hear about. Right. And um, even with social media is more, 
we kind of let everybody in, but we don't really let everybody in. We kind of show them the face we want to show them. So this was a nice place to kind of let that out. Show some of those time. things. Yeah. And it was hard because I, I didn't want to. I'm used to not doing it. I'm used to going, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. Everything's good. Yeah. Yes, Ellen, everything's fine. Yeah. You know? And it's not fine sometimes. And so this movie kind of delved into that a little bit, which was kind of interesting and fun to do. Yeah. But also scary. I, well, and I, I liked you and Owen together, and you yes. worked together before. Yes, in Anaconda. Yeah, like how long ago was that? A long time ago, where we were both being chased by snakes yeah. in one of our first movies together, he and I. And this was the first time, look, there we are. Um, and this was the first time that we kind of like were co-leads in the movie and kind of romantic in uh, love interests and stuff. And it was great because I think the whole thing is how different these two people are. And we are actually really different. You know, like he was riding his bike to set in New York when we were filming and like, I'm coming with my security and my thing, yeah. <laughs> you know, the whole yeah. stuff. And he's like, wow, your life. Yeah. I was like, I know, it's crazy, right? Yeah, no, y'all, we're very, very- We're very different, but it works so well for the movie. Yeah. And he is fantastic in this movie. He really grounds the whole thing because it's like big, you know, glamorous life of a superstar type thing. And he is just like the every guy. And you just can see why she would find him so interesting and different and appealing. And Maluma's great in it too, by the uh, way. Maluma's great. Yeah. He, was, he was here the other day. He played the bad boy. He's, uh, yeah, but he's, uh, he's such a sweet guy. He's adorable. He really is. Yeah, I mean, between the two of y'all shooting together, the screams that must happen between people <laughs> seeing Maluma and then seeing you. And uh, Anyway, all right, Marry Me is out in theaters and available on Peacock this Friday. We're gonna look back at Jennifer on the show after this. Aww.